we will learn about the short introduction of tabular editor 3. So here is the website tabularauditor.com and uh, you just need to open this website and if you click here licensing so here you can see these are their packages the desktop business and enterprise okay and if you click here download so you have to pay like uh, uh, per year or per month uh, depending on your need so if you click uh, downloads so here you can see there are two files one is 64 bit and the other one is the 32 bit so depending on your configuration of your system you can download any of these files and after the first time installation you will have 30 days trial period right so you need to open the power bi desktop file and uh, attach any um, excel file or any data that uh, you want to visualize and here you can see i have uh, added one excel file that contains these tables we have to click external tools and here you can see the tabular editor 3 so first of all you have to install tabular editor 3 and after the installation then you need to open uh, the power bi desktop so that the power bi desktop can recognize the tabular editor has been installed and when you will click here uh, let me show you one more thing so here, here you can see if i just click the tabular editor 3 so you will see here so no data source is available so we just need to uh, cancel it close it and then we need to open the tabular editor from the power bi uh, external tools so click here so now the tabular editor 3 will use the same data source as we have been utilizing with the power bi desktop so here you can see these are the same tables as uh, available here uh, the calendar customer team product category and so on and uh, then we have some local uh, date tables okay um, so here you can see that there are different uh, uh, panes here like uh, first one is the tom explorer that contains all the underlying objects the data source perspective relationship roles and so on and here is the expression editor where we have to write our ducks expressions and this is the message and here you can see uh, this one is the property so you can move these pins according to your need for example if you click here and drag so here you can see um, you need to for example if i say I, I need to drag it here then it will be moved here on the right side and then again uh, upside down side so it's um, all depending on your requirement right Okay, so we will not waste um, much of time on exploring all these things. So these are very self-explanatory. And uh, the other thing is, here you can see, this one is the open model from DB. This is the save changes back to the connected database. Uh, save all and revert, okay. So here you can see the, the first one, like, uh, so if you click here, a new diagram, so the diagram is here and if i drag the sales table here and uh, if you right click here you can have different options like you can add tables one by one or you can add uh, add tables that filter this table or you can add here all the related table so if i click here all the related table so here you can see all the tables that have direct connection with the sales table or been added here so what about the other tables that have uh, indirect relationship so we just need to click here and then we need to click add tables that filter this table so if i click this one so here you can see the territory is connected with the customer and the customer is connected with the sales so these because the 
sales table is also being filtered by territory and uh, that, that's why we have uh, this option add tables that filter this table so these all relationships that uh, tabular editor 3 made for you it all are coming from the power bi desktop from here from uh, this diagram we are getting all the uh, relationships right the other option is for example if i click here table uh, product and uh, then preview data click here so you can see all the columns for the product table and uh, in the same way for example if i want to uh, write some uh, dex expression here normally what we have to do here uh, in the power bi desktop uh, we just need to for example uh, home and uh, I just need to select one table here and uh, new measure all right so here you can see this space is very limited uh, I need to uh, expand manually uh, but in the tabular editor 3 I can write these queries side by side for example if I drag products and I can put it, for example, here. And uh, I can take the expression editor. So here you can see I have a better idea that uh, uh, which column should I take from the product table. And in the same way, for example, if I take sale preview, this one. And again, I need to take sale to here, this one. So here you can see uh, these are all the columns from this sale table. So it, it is very handy to write Dux expressions in uh, tabular editor 3 side by side. So that's all about the introduction of the tabular editor 3. So if you have any question, please write in the comment section. Thank you.